Hey, what's going on? It's Jerry Glean back on the scene here with another video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to use an analog style EQ to achieve a more bright and clear vocal. So let's hop right in and get to it. Okay, so I have this EQ plugin here loaded on my vocal and you can see here in the top end at about 10,000 Hertz, I have a slight boost to give the vocal a little more top end. So let's go ahead and play the vocal and take a listen. Take me back to the place where I went wrong. No, we all struggle, gotta fight to stay strong. Need to stick to who we are now. Even if we fall down, better luck will come around. Just catch it on the rebound and see how the big. Now, directly after this EQ plugin, I have a compressor loaded. So, what if on this EQ here, we only use it to remove frequencies? Okay, so. Let's go ahead and turn off this boost that's taking place on this EQ here on the high end. And this way we are only doing reductive EQ on this plugin. And then after we have removed these harsh frequencies that we don't necessarily want in our vocal, we're gonna go ahead and feed that into a compressor plugin right here. And then what we do after the compressor is really where the magic is. So here's the trick. Let's go ahead and add an analog style EQ to our vocal. Here I have the SSL um, EQ loaded on the vocal and the reason that you want to use a separate analog style EQ plugin to do the boosting of frequencies in your vocal is because these old analog style EQs just have a little bit more flavor and character to them. So you don't really get to hear that when you are removing frequencies, but when you're boosting them, that vintage tone of the analog style is really brought out. So let's go ahead and play the vocal again. And up here at about 10,000 Hertz, we're gonna go ahead and slowly boost the top end of this vocal to really bring that brightness of the vocal out. Oh, take me back to take me the place back. where I went wrong. No, we all struggle, gotta fight to stay strong. Need to stick to who we are now. Even if we fall down, better luck will come around. Just catch it on the rebound. You see how the big Okay, so y'all probably heard I aggressively boosted the top end there just so I could hear what I was doing and it sounded a little bit too harsh. So I slowly dialed that gain knob back. So it sounded very bright and detailed right there. And you can get as aggressive as you want when you're boosting the high end. And a little trick that I have is that I always like to load my de-esser plugin right after um, the EQ plugin that I'm using to do the boosting of the high end. Um, that way it can take care of really any sibilance that is being brought out from the high-end boost. So I'm going to go ahead and play the vocal again by itself, and I'm going to turn this EQ plugin on and off so you can really get a feel and hear the difference for what this EQ plugin is doing to the vocal. No, we all struggle, gotta fight to stay strong, need to stick to who we are now. Even if we fall down, better luck will come around, just catch it on the rebound, you see how the... All right, so as y'all probably heard, when I turned the plugin off, the vocal became more dark. And then when I engaged the EQ and that high shelf boost was taking place on the vocal, it just added more brightness to the vocal and made it sound more professional. Okay, so just to do a quick recap, we use this EQ plugin right here to remove any frequencies that we don't like. Um, this EQ kind of allows us to be a little bit more surgical with the removing of frequencies. And then we feed that signal into a compressor and the compressor is going to give us a more consistent volume in our vocal. And then we feed the vocal into an analog style EQ where you can make your boost to an already treated audio signal that has been prepared by reductive EQ and compression. And then after this analog style EQ plugin, we feed the vocal into a de to take care of any sibilance that may occur from us boosting the high end very aggressively. And you can really get creative with the type of analog style EQ plugin that you decide to use on your vocal when you're mixing. Um, I have a few of my favorites. I've already showed y'all the SSL EQ that we were using earlier, um, but I also love the Mag EQ4 here made by Plugin Alliance, and then also the Puig Tech made by Waves. Um, they're all gonna have their own way of adding warmth to the vocal. Um, so definitely experiment and you know just follow what sounds good to your ears. All right, so that's it for today. I hope y'all learned something. If you're still confused about anything, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and I'll see y'all in the next video.